I could have wiped one of those off, but that just did so much damage so fast. It was, um... Let me see this. Yeah, see, so I was moving at extreme s speed, but then, um... They were just doing outrageous amounts of damage. What happened was... Alright, so I saw a guy, right? And I saw an elven cultist. And then... Oh, were they healing each other or something? And then I shot the guy. But then... I got moved around or something. And then there were two of them. Blood boil. Dark portal. That was bad for me. Yeah, he was getting healed. And probably doing damage to me in the, in the process. Oof. Infected to death. That's what happened, huh? Yeah, you found Bill, Dylan. Awesome. I think, yeah, Narkowski, I would have cleared off one, but... Mm. What do you... What's the solution to this? Si oh, this is what the solution is. Uh, a wild infusion or shatter afflictions? Ah, uh, I see. So now I know, like... That's the thing about playing a game like this. is just, like, you learn more about... What types of... Deaths are out there and what the... What the way to solve it is. So this was something I'd never seen before. So now I understand the importance of having... Uh, more versatility with my infusions, perhaps. Like, maybe I didn't need um, this cleansing infusion and, and could have used something better there. But, oh well. Um, so, let's see. Let's go back to uh, restart with a new character. And let's see how we do, how we make, um, thanks, Victory. That was a great, it really was. I mean, it was the furthest we've ever got. Welcome to Embers of Rage. Thank you for purchasing Embers of Rage, the second expansion. Um, to begin your steamy adventures of hot metal mayhem, simply select the Embers of Rage campaign and be on your way to glory. Have fun crushing the foes of the pride. Okay. And we also have Forbidden Cults. Uh, which we could make a writhing one. Okay. And we got Ashes of Earthrock, which would give us Doombringer. Okay. So how about that? All right. So we have to change the campaign to Orcs Embers of Rage. Okay. To make this happen. And then now we can be an Orc. And... Um, Let's learn about this. So orcs, it says, orcs have a long and sad history. They are seen and are as an aggressive race. They are seen and are uh, an aggressive race that more than one time managed to imperil all of Magile. Interesting. Oh, cool, Phil. Thank you. The writhing ones are pretty fun. Awesome. Okay, Narkowski, thank you, thank you. Well, I'll have to be on the lookout for those guys in the Spellblaze next time if I get that far. Oh, it's it, this will contain some uh, plot spoilers for the main Age of Ascendancy campaign. Okay, fair enough. So if I were 
in Age of Ascendancy. I can't be an orc, though. So the the Embers of Rage is in, like, a, some kind of future where things have happened that are different. That's totally fine. I appreciate the warning. It's, it's understood, but I'm okay with, uh, you know, doing things a little bit out of order to try some new fun stuff. Thuraziz has been wanting to see me do an orc, so I'm excited to try it. And let's see. It says, one year ago from the Scourge from the West. Okay, so Scourge. Hmm. And wiped out the five prides. And a hundred years ago, King Toknor wiped out all traces of orcs from Magile. The orc race is dangerously on the brink of destruction. One wrong move is all that is needed, but they are strong and will face whatever is needed to ensure a future of their own. They possess the orcish fury, which allows them to increase all their damage for a few turns. Okay, so they're like, can go berserk, I guess. Okay. And they get good strength. Dex, Constitution, just bad at magic. Good 12 life per level and a 12% experience penalty. Okay. So um, I think we just say go for it, right? Hmm. Okay, um, oh, 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 right, I could just be a warrior, thank you, thank you, I was like, why can't I start, now you were saying you wanted to see me do a, a saw butcher, hey, hey, Nick man, good evening, a formidable behemoth of war using steam saws to improve his deadliness, their most important stats are strength and coming. Let's do it. Let's use a saw. Nickman, yes. We just died, my friend. We just died. We got to level 20. Furthest we've ever gotten. And we died in the, uh, the spell blaze. Just some sinister elven mages and their horrifying infestation magic okay so this is what we want to do is use steam saws to see how this goes and now we can go thank you i don't know why i wasn't thinking about picking a class um <laughs> that's right let's go oh it's number 25 on the top killers list boss tier thank you so it's not uncommon to get killed by one of those guys all right. Oh, were you trying to kill some bosses in uh, RuneScape, Nickman? Or are you playing something else, my friend? All right. So we need strength for this character. Strength. And uh, constitution. Great. And let's see. Um, we need more strength to raise up Steam Saw Mastery. And, I mean, look at this. That is awesome. Okay. And this says... Um, oh, cool, Nick Man. Hits target on the arms with one rotating saw doing damage and trying to maim it for two turns. Okay. Um, great. And then this says... Uh, firmly plant your saws in the ground and use them to propel yourself very quickly. Uh, so this is called saw wheels. Any foe on either side of your movements gets wrecked by the saws, knocking them three tiles away from you. When this effect is broken or canceled, the sudden change in motion deals 151% damage to all foes around you. That's awesome. And then this says, throw a small unstable steam engine on the battlefield that will go critical after two turns. It will then create an explosion of hot vapor in the radius one. So it's like a grenade. And then this is advanced butchery, which requires some cunning. 
And this is Furnace, which also requires Cunning. So maybe I should actually be boosting up my Cunning a little bit more than I have been. All right, fine. Okay, well, given this, we're going to go ahead and just put a point in this. And I guess we put a point in this just to try it out. And then the Orc Racial gives you Bloodlust. <laughs> and this will just reduce the cooldown. Well, I'm not using a sword axe or a mace. I'm using a saw, so I don't think this applies. Steam tech goes up and allows you to create smith tinkers. Interesting. So this helps you make new weapons or something? Therapeutic tinkers, huh? Huh. And Steam Tech. Four strength and constitution. <laughs> yeah, give me the strength. That's awesome, Durazis. Saw Wheels is hilarious. All right. So now we have strength. And we're ready to go. You are a member of the prideful but dwindling orcs. Um... Orcs are on the brink of destruction. Their strongholds in Varail have been destroyed by the Sunwall, or the one you named the Scourge of the West. Of the four prides of the mainland, none stood. They all fell, and very few of their members were able to flee. Only the Kruk Pride, stationed on the Clork Peninsula, still stands. But for how long? The Sunwall outpost blocks the way to the mainland, and the peninsula itself is home to an advanced race of aggressive giants who mastered steam technology. And now the giants have dug a tunnel through the mountains right into Kruk, pouring out of it to the end of the Pride once and for all while the bulk of Kruk forces are away. They must be stopped. If Kruk falls, the orc race dies with it. All right, we got to fight the giants. You grabbed a bomb from the stocks, and now you must enter the tunnel and detonate it on a weak spot to make it crumble. For the orcs, for Garkol's legacy. Wow. So we dra <laughs> we've got a bomb, and we've got some saws, and let's do it. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Kruk Pride, friendly. They're hostile. This is another tribe. Alright. We're in the middle of war here. The giants. I need to find the weak spot. At the end of the tunnel. Is this the tunnel that they want me to go in? Like, I'm supposed to sneak in through here? Or I should be going north on this map? Hmm. I'm just going to let them fight for a moment. Oh, there's a town here, huh? Uh, this is our town that's being invaded. So I guess I have to... Try and sneak through? All right. So I got to just get to the end of the tunnel and place the bomb. Okay. So let's see if we can do this. I need to um, put on my steam wheels. My saw wheels. And use this so we can move really fast. We're bouncing everybody away. We're using saw wheels. And um, I guess we go down. Am I still using my saw wheels? I am. All right, here we go. We're rolling around. We're just rolling to the end of the tunnel. I'm not even going to fight things. Well, maybe I should fight stuff. I can block. Okay. 
And we're going to go. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Um, let's see. Alright, let me try to speed up. And let me heal myself. And run away. Alright, let's go. Saw wheels. Go, go, go. Is this wise? No. I'm racing past them looking for a place to detonate a bomb. Alright, here comes a bad guy. I mean, can I beat this guy? He's level 3. I bet I could just fight this guy. Let me just try to fight him. Rocket boots. Activate the rocket boots. And increase my movement speed. What? Or I could just run. So, orcs are totally different. They don't have infusions. They have all kinds of abilities. I don't know what my goal is. Um, Therazis, I'm trying to stay alive. Um, I'm missing the requirements. Okay, fine. I'll fight this guy. Okay, we killed him pretty easily, so maybe I should fight, guys. <laughs> maybe I should just fight. Now, this is going to be tough, so what we're going to do is just wheels over to this guy. And then... Yeah, we got these guys. Okay, we can fight. I was thinking there was, like, more of a sense of urgency, and I shouldn't just fight, but we can fight. We can hit people with our saws. Our beautiful saws win. Got him. Oh, here's their boss. Alright, who's this guy? This is uh, the commander, Freylor. And he's a giant, and he's steamy. Let's go. We're coming for you, big guy. All right, that wasn't nice. Ow. I'm going to have to heal. And let's see. What can we do to this guy? Nah. Let's go ahead and let's just fight him. Let's just keep smacking this guy in the face. We're gonna we're gonna beat you. Pinned to the ground. Alright, he's at 35%. Let's hit him. We're okay. He hit us for 12. Fine, we'll block. And we've got him down to minus 6%. So he's at negative 26 and he's still up. I'm going to heal. And he's dead. And we leveled up. I think we leveled up three levels right there. Because I was being foolish. Awesome. All right, go strength, go. We need strength for this because this is awesome. Overheat saws. Channel hot steam around your saws. Burning foes you strike and melee for fire damage. Hot steamy maiming. This I love this DLC. This is hilarious. All right, fine then. Hot and steamy the maiming is. All right. Okay. And we'll just keep putting points there. We'll go ahead and do that. And this will give us 
This is good. What is this? Bloodstream activated. You gently, quote, slam your saws into the wounds of a creature, dealing the damage and deepening the wounds. This is hilarious. I'm like a steampunk orc who uses saws and gadgets, apparently, um, Nick Man. I'm starting to see it for sure, Therese's. This is hilarious. It feels more Warhammer for sure. It's Orakai with saws and technology. Grinding shield. Oh, I like this. I like all this stuff. I kind of want it all. Give me that. Give me that. Let's just try everything. Generic points. Go for it. Um, boost up this, I guess. I can't do these until I get my cunning up. Um... Okay. Alright, then what I'll do is I'm going to put cunning to 20 so that I can get some of these other abilities. Heavy armor to 3. Okay. Oh, massive plate armor. I love it. Sure. Let's do it. Thank you, Therizis. I like it. Alright. Alright. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We've got our cunning for our gadgets. We've got our strength. We've got our saws. Let's go rip some stuff apart. Yes, we'll save changes. What do we get from this guy? We got a Yeti mind controller. This device seems to be able to hack the mind of a wild Yeti to make it able to be used as a weapon of war. Of course. Why not? We got Yeti reinforcements. It's a new quest. We got Rad of the Rod of Recall. Fantastic. All right. Let's see what else we got. Iron Steam Gun of True Sight. Funny. All right. Uh, put it to our inventory. And can we wear this? It's on our hat. Now well, it gives us armor. I mean, look at our character. We have two saws. We have iron gauntlets, iron gloves. We have uh, some iron armor. And now we have a Yeti mind control device. I mean, this is just ridiculous. All right, let's see what the next... The, to place the detonator, you have 220 turns to get out or be destroyed. Use your rod of recall. Okay, so we have placed the item, I believe, and so we need to use our rod to get out of here. We did place it, right? Yeah, it's gone. Alright, let's run. We made it. And what has happened? Are they all gone? Before you stands an impressive undead minotaur. I would like to talk to you, yes? Soft foot of the Kirk, I come to give you a warning, an apology, and a plea for help. An incredible magical force has awakened within one of our elders, Nektosh the One-Horned, and he has gone mad with its power. Those who stood up against him were reduced to less than ashes by a beam from his horn, a beam that tunneled far up through the rock above him until we could see the sky. He has convinced some of us that he can use this terrible force to conquer Isle and terrified others into going along with him. He announced his first step will be to lead his followers in an attack on Kruk Pride. Well, great. Everybody seems to be attacking the poor orcs. The rest of us have fled, hiding in caverns across the peninsula. I cannot in good conscience ask you to face certain death 
before his magic for our sakes, but striking first may be the only way to save your people. He appears to be stalling the invasion, buying some time, but if you cannot catch him off guard before he finally commits to it, I've seen his power cut through a mountain like it was a leaf, Softfoot. There can be no victory against that kind of magic. Run, hide, and hope he falls victim to an accident or loses the remaining fragments of his sanity that keep him capable of casting spells. Oh no, Ori, you are still there, my friend? I am sorry. I'm glad you're finally leaving. I told you to run away. Never look back. I will check it out. Clan of the Unicorn. I like how polite and well-spoken that undead minotaur was. Normally undead minotaurs, I'm thinking hostilities, but that guy was quite nice. I like it. All right, so let's see. Look, here's a saw blade shop. Look at this. They've got better saws in here. What kind of saw do I have? Oh, you get a saw in each hand, and you can equip different ones. This is so awesome. All right, powered by Steam Tech. How much money do I have? I have nothing. Zero, in fact. Would you be interested in buying my stuff? Yes, yeah, sell it. Buy that. You got do, anything else? Buy all my stuff. You got any songs for me now? All right. I got 13 gold. What you got? What you got? You have uh, this steam saw of resistance, which, uh, well, it's probably better than what I have, but 10 to 16 power. So this is better in, in just about every way. I run on steam. Oh, okay, I see it right here. Yes, you're right. I have 100 steam. It's my other currency, my other resource that I have to manage. Fantastic. So now we have a quest here from the Clan of the Unicorn. We have Un of Steamwork and Pain. And we have Yeti Reinforcements. If I can tame eight wild yetis and send them back to Crook Pride, they can be trained and sent out, sent back to you at your request using a Psychoportation Beacon. Now, this is my first time using Psychoportation, so I'm excited and terrified at the same time. Wild yetis are mostly found in yetis' caves. Good advice there. Fantastic. Well, here's where we are, everybody. We just planted a bomb and survived to stop the giants from entering our little enclave here. And we are the last of the orcs. I'm equipped with saws on both hands, can ride them around for super fast travel. And I'm fourth level. I'm strong. I have gadgets. I have things to do, and I've been given a quest by an undead minotaur, and I'm excited about that, and I'm excited to play this new character and get more into the game, and we'll do that the next time we play Tales of Magile. but uh, everyone, it is my bedtime, so I want to say thank you all so much for coming out, for watching me die, and seeing me be reborn as a blood thirsty orc with saw blades. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you guys next time. Yes, Victory. It was a blast, my friend. Always good to see you. Rob, have a great night. Thurazis, thank you for telling me about this orc. This is hilarious. Grim, Victory, Rob, Thurazis, Ori, Boo, Narkowski, Bostier, Phil, Neo, Dylan, Mike Fu, Alex, everyone out there. It is, it is a bit of a shame, Bostir. I wish I could use this to work in a normal campaign, my friend. But what's cool, Bostir, is next time we try the normal campaign, 
we have a whole bunch of new options to explore. So I'm excited about that too. Good night, everyone. Take care.